can't believe I did it. I'm here. <laughs> Good day everyone in YouTube land, how's everyone doing today? Today is going to be a different vlog. I'm going to sit down with you guys, I'm going to tell you a little story, get to know me a little bit more, because today's kind of a big deal for me and I'm really excited about it and I cannot believe I'm here. <laughs> you can probably tell by the uh, the title, it's a pretty serious topic, it's something a lot of people deals with. Stay strong and keep your head up high, get in that stay happy, stay positive mindset. It takes a lot of strength, I'll tell you that. A lot of willpower, but anybody can do it. So let's get this vlog started. Let's talk about it. Let's do this. <sighs> First off, I'm gonna try my best to keep this as lively as I can. Uh, it is a very deep subject matter to me, but I wanna share just kind of uh, my, my story. Not my journey to YouTube, not how I became a YouTuber, none of that, that's saved for a different vlog. Because today marks two years that I've not had a drop of alcohol. I quit drinking. I had a problem with it. It got bad after a while, um, there, especially there towards the end. It also doesn't help when you're battling depression. So I wanna say it really started when turning 21 years old, uh, you know, it was cool to go out and buy your own alcohol. It was always nice. It always made you feel more like an adult. Friends I was hanging out with at the time, uh, it didn't really help the situation either. I didn't drink all that often, but when I did, it was mostly with them. Wouldn't really say it started to affect me until like my mid to late 20s. Fast forward to uh, the year 2016. Uh, I just got out of a uh, really bad relationship. I started drinking a lot, also due to my grade two sprain I had on my left ankle. And I was just in a dark place. Uh, I've always had dark moments as a kid uh, growing up. I know my parents' divorce was hard on me. There was some other issues uh, growing up I won't get into. I just always had those moments of dark times, depression, and uh, I'd get real low. There were times where I was wanting to take my own life, uh, if you can believe that or not. Uh, that was probably the year that spiraled the most, uh, probably out of control for me. I drank a lot, I, I, I drank so much. And the problem with me drinking the way I did is when I drink too much, uh, I could black out, uh, which would lead to a whole nother person, somebody who's not the person you see today, not this happy, positive guy. I was very negative. I was very rude. I was a very mean person. Somebody that I'm not proud of, of today, or his actions, or anything that he said, or anything that he's done to hurt anyone. Not proud of it at all. So that uh, eventually led me into uh, checking into rehab for my addiction and. Uh, also, my uh, suicidal thoughts, never really acted on them. They've always just been thoughts, but I was also seeking counseling and help that year. And um, there was one day I came in and I, I told them exactly how I was feeling and was open and honest. And um, so I got the help, I went to the hospital, got put on medication and I tried to, <laughs> I tried to, to not drink anymore. And I went about a solid month without it. And then I started again. A few weeks before the last time I drank, I said a few things to a friend, a close friend, a mentor, and kind of lost that relationship. But I screwed that up, but sometimes I believe in that, you know, fate and everything happens for a reason. And maybe he was supposed to just be a part of my life for a short time, and that's something I gotta accept. And it comes down to the last night I drank, that was kind of the, uh, the final straw for me, the mindset, the one that did it all in. So the last time I drank, went to a Halloween party with a close friend of mine. I honestly don't remember that day at all. I don't remember the last time I drank. I, 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 I don't remember anything from that night. I just know that I did some things and said some things that kind of ruined a friendship. I don't know if we'll ever be the same again. We don't hang or talk like we used to. Something I do miss terribly. Uh, mistakes and everything I did led me to who I am today that started it. I just, I hate that I waited too long. I, I, I waited till it was too late. I waited till I had to push some people out of my life to understand and learn that's not who I am. That's who I can't be anymore. And for myself and for that moment when I was like my future, any future relationships, any future marriages or children I have, I gotta be open and honest and I can't hide from it and I 
kind of change who I am and be become a better person. And that's kind of where the happy, positive mindset started. I tell myself that every day. I've also had some people tell me when I was trying to go through this change that I wouldn't last long, that I'd go another month without drinking and then drink again, I'd pick that up. Uh, but boy, were they so wrong. I mean, here I am two years later. It's an unbelievable, amazing feeling. I'm so thankful and grateful to be who I am and where I am today. Like, oh man, such a joyous moment. It feels so good. When I did quit drinking, there was an event held that month in November and it was for, <clears throat> it was like an auction to help raise money for depression awareness and suicide awareness and all that stuff. It was an incredible benefit. It was so cool. Little did I know that I was gonna be the the star of the show, the main front runner, the attention getter. I was highly surprised, but they brought me up on stage, talked about uh, my journey. They filmed a video, but I didn't know it was gonna be shown for this. Uh, me talking about who I was and, and where I came from and <clears throat> my fight, my struggle. So this is where this shirt came from, this Team Ryan shirt. I had a bunch of people, they handed those out. A lot of people was on my side and telling me to just stay strong and keep keep fighting and, and stay in there, hang in there and everything. And that night meant a lot to me uh, and it was just a beautiful time. And uh, I'm so happy that uh, I could share that with everyone and to share that now open with the world, it's, uh, it's, it's wild. But yeah, in 2017, I still battle with depression. Everybody still does, uh, but this year has probably been one of the best years of my life. That night changed everything. Um, it was definitely something that uh, I wish I could change, but at the same time, I wish I don't because that made me who I am today. I am a better person. I am me. I am the guy you guys see every day on camera. That's, that's who I am now. It was a very tough time in my life, and I don't think I was ready for this next step in my life, this whole YouTube journey and everything, which is also a reason why I do what I do today in hopes that I can reach out and help people, help them through their day. Another reason I remind you guys every day, stay happy, stay positive. It's just it becomes habit for me after a while, and then that mindset it really does change your attitude and put things in the perspective and make you see things differently and appreciate things more differently be more grateful be more loving be a better person not just for you but for others for you guys for everyone that's in my life now so that's pretty much my story and led me to the change and who i am today and why i'm the person i am today and why i do the things i do today it's in hopes to inspire someone else uh, i used to be that person that would hear life-changing stories and I used to think that I would never be that person or somebody that could speak to people but I it's something I truly deeply believe in the way the world works and the way it is now I definitely believe there needs to be a change and there needs to be more happiness positivity in this world more people need it in their lives Pe more people need more joys more smiles they need to smile every day you know walk past a stranger and ask how they're doing you know what I mean just those little things can really truly help uh, make a difference in somebody's life or day. So I truly hope uh, I didn't get too down or deep or dark for you guys. I just truly wanted to be open and honest with you guys. And I felt like I was ready and open to share that uh, being my two years today. Uh, it's something I'm very proud of. Uh, something I didn't think I could achieve, uh, but you, you put your mind to it and you literally take it one day at a time, just day by day. Uh, you can achieve it. You can achieve anything. Uh, just put your mind to it. Set goals. So basically the concept and idea behind this whole thing is to get to know you guys a little more. For you to get to know me a little more. Sit down and be real and honest with you guys. Let you know who I am today and how I got here. My YouTube story is something that will come in the future. I'll share that at 500 subscribers. We are on the way to that currently. It's our second goal on YouTube. All of this is possible and it all comes down to just a few simple steps. One, you have to admit that you have a problem. That's the first step is reaching out, getting that help and admitting that you have it. That's the first step. Second step, well, I mean, these steps can go hand in hand or vice versa, but uh, change, it all comes down to change that you have to specifically deep down inside want that change in your heart of hearts. You have to literally in your mind you have to get in that mindset and you have to want it and, and get that help and seek it and stay strong and take it day by day and visit consistently and just reach out. It's, it's, it helps significantly, even if you don't want to. I used to be that person. I like to hold things to myself deep down inside. I wouldn't like to talk to people about my issues and what's going on in my life, but you have to. 
it finally came down to it where I was like, I have to do this. I have to, I have to, I have to, and I really wanted it. It's something that you have to truly want. You have to get in that mindset. Believe me, there were times I wanted it and wanted to quit drinking and wanted to be a better person. But deep down, I was just lying to myself. I didn't really want that. I didn't want to stop drinking. I didn't want to stop having fun, which I thought that you had to drink to have fun. I was, I don't know. I was, it just it takes those few simple steps. You have to want it. You have to, you, you have to seek it. If you feel you know anybody like me, uh, who I used to be, who kind of needs maybe that extra boost or that help or needs to hear somebody story or anything, just please feel free to share this. Please, uh, I mean, it could truly make a difference in somebody's life, it really could. Just, if you were to share any videos, just this one, it's all I'm asking. Feels pretty good to get that out there. It's not as nerve wracking as I thought, but man, it's something that if you see somebody struggling with addiction, depression, anything like that, you reach out. Sometimes that's all it takes. Thank you guys so much for listening. Much love, as always. And uh, we'll hit up some uh, trivia. Spooky month's pretty much over. And yeah, so. Thanks, Ryan. Congratulations, by the way. I mean, that's, that's, that's a pretty big deal. But anyway, it's time for Movie Trivia Tuesday. And today, we're going to cover the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Spooky. When this film was first released, people were actually so terrified they walked out of the movie theater. Marilyn Burns, who plays the main character of the film, was chased by Leatherface through a lot of brush and sticks and was chased through the woods. It was cut so badly that the, the blood on the, her clothes and body was actually real. Gunnar Hansen, who played Leatherface, actually wore three inch heels to appear taller than the rest of the cast. Gunnar Hansen actually hit his head on some doorways and objects a few other times because it was quite hard to see in there and he was so tall and it was hard for him to clear the pathways. Entertainment Weekly voted this to be the second scariest film behind The Exorcist. Leatherface's teeth were prosthetic. They were actually designed by his personal dentist. Ultimately, had a two week shooting schedule, but it actually took four. The van that was used in the film actually belonged to the sound recordist. This film had a body count of five. The chainsaw is actually seen cutting through the flesh of only one person on screen. Coincidentally, that one person happened to be Leatherface himself when he dropped the chainsaw on his leg. And that there is going to be your movie trivia Tuesday for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is the final trivia of Halloween. Yes! I made it. I finally made it. Halloween is said and done and over. No more horror trivia Tuesday. <laughs> oh man. Get back to my normal new movie schedule. Next thing you know, you're gonna be having me doing Christmas movies in December or something. <laughs> hmm. You know, that's not a bad idea. No, 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 no. It's, it's just a joke. Christmas trivia in December. Done. No, no! And that's gonna be it for another vlog, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Thanks for all your love and support, guys. It means a lot. It's such a big deal to me to hit this mark. It's amazing. It feels surreal. Like, it just feels like a dream. It doesn't feel like I made that decision two years ago. It's insane, guys. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for being here, all those who have been with me through the tough times. Thanks for still sticking with me and um, all those uh, subscribers who have been with me from the beginning. Thank you all. And any new subscribers, thank you for joining. Always here to entertain. That's what we're all about. That stay happy, stay positive mindset. So Sarah and I passed out Halloween candy with her mom tonight. We got back, both pretty much just passed out. And uh, I woke up and was like, hey, I forgot to close my vlog. So here I am closing the vlog all by myself. <laughs> Strictly just want to get a message out and hopefully I can relay. And please don't forget that if this could help anybody that you may know or anything, or even if you don't know anybody that's going through depression or any hard times or addiction or anything, please just share the video in hopes that it could reach out to somebody. So it's my goal, guys. Thanks so much. Here to help the world better place one person at a time, one day at a time. As always, please don't forget to like and share. Comment below. Don't dislike it. Just, I meant comment. <laughs> and we'll see you all tomorrow. Jitterbug.